Hey, mateys, your ship is set aground on the shore of this uncharted Photoshop island. Hello and welcome. This tutorial is produced by PhotoshopIsland.com, your source for fun and practical Photoshop extras, from brushes to complete layer designs. Okay, this is the uh, end results of this tutorial, and it's a kid's soccer uh, calendar schedule, game schedule, and uh, this is made with the Photoshop Island monthly calendar set for 2010. This is Volume 2. Make sure and check out Volume 1 if you need an annual calendar. So let's have some fun. Okay, I'm going to jump into this tutorial, and this is a continuation of the uh, first more basic tutorial where I just did a single month desktop uh, calendar. This is going to be a multi-month schedule calendar, a little fancier, and you know, this could be used as a desktop, but it doesn't have to be used as a desktop. You certainly could use this for anything that you would uh, do, any kind of creative work you would, creative work you would do with Photoshop and have it printed. So let's jump right in. Uh, kind of, if, if you are any uh, amount lost here, you might jump back and go to the uh, first tutorial on the calendar set. But I'm going to jump right in. The first thing I want to do, I'm going to select the brush tool, and I'm going to load some calendars here from the 2010 Volume 2 calendar set. And go to Load Brushes, and I am going to pick the uh, 2010 Grunge Border set. There it is. Just to give you an idea of what I'm going to do, I want to create a three-month soccer schedule for a kid's soccer team. And the three months that I want to create my calendar for are March, April, and May of 2010. So I uh, want to set up some layers here. I'm going to create three new layers. I'm going to uh, click on the new layer icon down here at the bottom of the layer palette. And I'm just going to go ahead and click on it three times. I'm going to name these real quick. March, April, and May. So now we've got three layers to work with. And um, I think uh, uh, for this particular example, I'm going to use an, uh, maybe a bright, kind of a brightish dark orange. <laughs> A brightish, darkish orange, if that makes sense. I don't know that it does. But uh, anyway, uh, pick me a color for my calendars, and I'm going to pick um, the brush tool, and I'm going to go select the correct months. And l let me, I'm sorry, let me backtrack a little bit. I'm going to start with the March layer. Now let's go back and pick the March brush. And if you just hover over these, uh, calendars. If you're confused, you, it will bring up the month that it is. And here's March. And now this is uh, a lot bigger than it needs to be, so I'm going to use my left bracket tool to bring this brush down to a manageable size. And then I need to be able to fit three months across here, so I'm going to I'm going to kind of just eyeball this. But um, this looks like it looks like about 600 pixels is going to work. I know that this image is uh, almost 2,000 pixels wide, so three, three times 600 is 1,800. That should fit. And um, I'm on the uh, March layer, and I'm just going to click down once for March. And then I'm going to um, go back and select the April brush, which is right here. Select the April layer. Now the... The brush, since I picked a different one, it went to the default large size. Now I'm going to show you another way to change that size. I'm just going to go in here and change the diameter, the uh, di <laughs> the diameter of the calendar to 600, since we know that's the size that we made the other one. And you do want to make these the same size so that it kind of has a nice design look. Uh, don't worry too much about exactly where you stamp this down, because I'm going to show you a way to align these calendars once you have them in place. So there's April. I'm going to jump up here to May. Uh, again, back to the brush. I'm going to select May. I'm going to hover over these to make sure I pick May correctly. And again, it's uh, going to be too large, so I'm going to pick 600 so that it matches the size of the other two that I've done. And uh, then I'm just going to stamp down, and you can see I'm a little off here. Hopefully my 600 won't have been too big. I'm going to click down once. And I've got my three months in there. Now I'm going to scooch the March one down here a little bit to the, 
to the end, give me just a little border and uh, give me about the same border here on the right side. And then I'm going to uh, select by holding down the shift key, I'm going to select the May, April, and March calendars. And I'm going to go up here and uh, use the align and distribute tools. And I want to distribute these calendars on the center, so this will space them out evenly for us. And then I'm not sure if I stamp down exactly in the same uh, place vertically, so I'm going to align these to the top edges. I'll get my calendars lined up. And I believe I must have done a pretty good job because they are all lined up real nice. So now we have our three months in place. Now, um, I think I want to add a title to my calendar, so I'm just going to grab the type tool, and for simplicity's sake, I'll just call this uh, Kids Soccer Calendar. Got kind of a fun, silly font in here. You can, of course, use whatever you like. And I'll put that up here. I think that's a little small. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab my three months again. And again, I'm just holding down the shift key and selecting all three layers. I'm going to scooch that down a little bit. Then I'm going to um, auto select and click on my type and enlarge that a little bit. So we got a nice big title for our soccer calendar. Now, here, here's where uh, this comes in handy. This calendar could come in handy. Uh, we want to mark the days that there are games. So uh, the easiest way to do that, these calendars, I'm going to go down here and select the base image. I'm going to select my um, rectangle. Well, I'm, I'm actually going to select, I think I want to use um, an ellipse and select that tool. And let's select a different color for our games, I'm going to pick a bright yellow and I'm going to draw a, I'm going to hold down the shift key and draw a circle that's just about the size of one of these numbers. And now you can see that our March 3rd is uh, nicely highlighted and uh, you can see if, that, if it, we want to pick a different day, we can. We'll say we'll pick March 12th. And then if you want to hold down on your Option or Alt key on uh, the PC uh, and click down and drag, we can make a copy of that uh, shape that we've made. We know that it's about the size that we want. And uh, I'm just going to place that on the various days that we have games. That our team has games going to nudge this around and get it lined up and say we've got a couple of games in May too. So now we've got a nice uh, schedule and if you want to put a, a, um, a little key to it you could draw bring this circle down and um, let's uh, I'm going to pick a pick my orange again and um, We'll just add a little piece of text here that says games so that we know the games are the yellow dots. Make sure and check out PhotoshopIsland.com for our other products, freebies, and our blog. And you, if you sign up for our email newsletter, you'll know when new products come out. So make sure and sign up there too. Thanks. Don't forget to check out PhotoshopIsland.com for a bonanza of fun and practical Photoshop extras, from brushes to complete layered designs.